Hey there, beautiful people. My name is Tim Lee, and welcome to another Draw Too Much Sketch lesson. I'm going to turn on some music here because I'm paying $4.99 a month for it, so I may as well use it so you guys can enjoy some copyright-free music in our videos. I hope that you enjoy that, and consider supporting me on Patreon so I don't have to pay for it myself. Uh, today is time to do another 300 drawing prompts video. So basically, long story short, is we do a lot of caricature stuff on this channel. That's mainly what we teach on here, but we need to get our head out of caricatures and think more about the side of design design. Drawing design is very, very important, and so that's one of the reasons why I have this book that was given to me a long time ago. Never drawn in it, but what we've been doing is we've been going through page by page and filling out, coming up with a design. It, on each page of this book, if you look inside, they have things that they suggest that you should draw in each one of these panels in this book. So instead of drawing in here, I've been drawing them on my computer and sharing them with you guys. Here's the catch. We can only do it in 10 minutes. Trying to think outside the box and having some fun also allows us to think about how we can be more designer and a lot less caricature. Uh, being a caricature artist is great, but knowing how to do more design elements play a key role, and this book has been very helpful. Check out some of the other videos that we've done on the 300 drawing prompts that we've seen. I just need to make a playlist, don't I? I'm going to see if I can figure out how to make a playlist. I know how, but I'm a lazy bum. Remind me, I will try to make a playlist. See if that happens. Let's go ahead and open up the book here and see what we have done so far. Angel's Wings, a Dr. Seuss hat, your reflection, asteroids, the Milky Way, comic book covers. Our last video was a lotus flower. And the next one on the list here, right here, it says looking through a keyhole. All right, keep it clean as best you can. But in the next 10 minutes, folks, we're gonna try and draw something cool that has to do with looking through a keyhole. Should be kind of interesting. Think outside the box. Try to do something that you weren't expecting. Uh, if you're drawing digitally, try a different brush than you would usually use. Uh, if you are, um, if you have a theory that you're used to doing, try and think outside the box and do something different with that. Uh, seriously, push yourself to be different. In today's video, I'm going to try and use a different brush, and we're going to try and see about how much a different brush is going to cause me trouble. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking for a brush that isn't going to crazy freeze up my computer, but at the same time I want something that is going to allow me to just be different, uh, and I want it to mess me up. I kind of want it to be something that I could get wrong. All right, we're going to try this brush, I think. This is called the Transparent Watercolor Brush. It's actually a very cool brush, but I think it'll be a bit of a challenge because as it goes over itself, it does some weird effects. Let's see what we can create in 10 minutes. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by drawing a keyhole and then see what we can create inside that keyhole. Are you ready to get started, folks? Five minutes and 10 minutes on the clock, so we know when the half point is. Here we go in three, two, you haven't even seen the brush I'm talking about. Here we go. <laughs> Might help if I actually show you my screen. And I'll show you the brush as we get started here. Three, two, one. Five and 10 minutes are on the clock, guys. Let's see what we can draw. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a great big circle here. I'm trying to think about looking inside this keyhole, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and draw inside here. And then what I want to do is I think I want to give this keyhole some inner shape. So I'm going to pretend that we can see kind of inside this keyhole a little bit. Okay, like this. Like we can see through the inner workings of the keyhole. Like, like it's thick. You, like if you were close enough, you'd be able to see inside just slightly. That is some weird background music. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Like I said, keep it clean. Let's see what we can create on the other side of the keyhole. All right. Let's start with one quick thing here. I want to try with the same brush. I got to stick with the same brush. I told myself I would use one brush for this. I'm going to try and stick with it. I want to quickly. Wow. Not quickly at all attempt to fill in the rest of this background and this is way past my hands are off and it's still painting i mean this is definitely cpu intensive right now and my computer is a fast computer so keep that in mind as you're trying to choose a brush within a time limit all right so we're, we're getting a pretty good looking keyhole going on here Okay. All right. I think we got a, a rough 
guesstimate of a design here. Now the nice thing about this brush is if it's seen color, it will go thicker on that color, but I'm also gonna try and go a little bit darker. Now I'm drawing this on, you know, like a red. You can choose whatever color you want to think outside the box in whatever way you want. There we go. And then I'm just gonna go through here a little bit and clean up some of this edging with my eraser. It's only supposed to be 10 minutes and it's only supposed to be enough to inspire you to try something different. So let me try and think about what element I wanna put inside here really quick. Um, once again, this brush is not a brush I'm used to. So as I'm trying to do stuff with this and trying to draw, it's throwing me off, which in this case is what I really want to have happen. I want to be thrown off. We'll see if you guys can see what I'm seeing here as I keep doing this here. I have a theory in my head. Nice thing about drawing digital is you can move stuff around and you can rethink elements as you keep going along, but don't be afraid to just think outside the box. Even if you're drawing on paper, if you're drawing in any format, think outside the box. I find that in these moments when you really don't know what to do, your life that you have lived, the things that you've experienced in your life, really play a role on what you draw. Alright, I think I got a pretty interesting looking sketch going on here. Uh, we still have about six minutes, which I feel pretty good about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. And like I said, I'm sticking with my brush. And it's very, it's, it's definitely confusing my hand. It's not something my hand is used to drawing with. This is not um, something I'm finding common in my design. The other nice thing is try your best not to use reference and just try to try to think creatively. Alright, our first five minutes is up guys. Keep pushing. This is a brain workout. It's your chance to think. Outside your comfort zone do something different. I think what I'm going to do is see if I can find this book on Amazon and give you guys a link to buy the book for yourselves. This has been a really great, uh, learning experience for me to try these and maybe you'd prefer to draw in the book for yourself instead of just drawing on a pe random piece of paper maybe you want to keep all of these so I'm gonna see if maybe I can find the link and include that in the description uh, to support the author who created the book first off I mean that such a simple idea but I mean I found it to be incredibly useful uh, to do things and force me to think outside the box this is not stuff I would usually draw I mean this is stuff that is great but in the end uh, my, my mind would be so focused on other details and to be able to to loosen up and think about doing this stuff instead of instead of instead of the caricatures that I need to focus on it just makes so much more sense
So if my design is not making any sense to you so far, I'm thinking of the white rabbit from uh, uh, from the oh what's what's that series Alice in Wonderland, and he's holding a watch through, uh, and showing you the time through the keyhole, saying time flies. That's my theory of this design. And like I said, if you're enjoying the idea of whatever you're drawing, just keep going. And, and take it to a finish so that you can just enjoy what you've worked on. Create something beautiful and unique that you can take some pride in. Because this is not something that you would usually do. This is not... This is way out of the box of what you would usually consider. May as well enjoy what you're working on and push it to that point. doesn't have to be perfect trust me this is miserable it doesn't have to be perfect at all <laughs> but if you can use that book to make you draw things that you wouldn't usually draw you are already building up your brain to go further than than you would usually do that's the best thing you can do for yourself how are we doing on time minute and 23 seconds left Push yourself. Think beyond what you usually do. Try new techniques, new brushes, new theories. Just let that inspiration take you and just run with it. Siri, I wasn't talking to you. Take your brushes, especially if uh, you've never messed with it before, and try to use it. Try to learn it. This brush blends whatever it touches. So try to figure out how it works. And blend stuff together. See if you can create some shadow and some form. I don't take pride in this at all. But I love what's it, what it's forcing me to become. It's what it's forcing me to do in the next few minutes as we keep doing these drawings. We've drawn some very cool stuff and been forced to draw some very cool stuff that take us out of our comfort zone. Well, there you go, guys. There is my looking through the keyhole design. <laughs> Looks terrible. But at the same time, I'm okay with that. Thank you so much for checking this video out, guys. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I love getting your comments. Love having you as part of our family here, part of our community. Uh, show us what you drew uh, on Draw Too Much Artists Anonymous, uh, our Facebook page, uh, which I will try to remember to put in the link uh, in the description. Uh, and then please consider supporting me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash draw too much caricatures. Of course, the link is in the description below. Get my videos early. Uh, get discounts for caricatures, get a chance to win a caricature once we get a couple of extra uh, people uh, following us on Patreon, and also be a part of my live videos that I do for my patrons. God bless you guys. We will see you next time right here on my Draw Too Much Sketch Lessons. Leave a comment down below what you want to learn, and we'll see if we can get to it. You take care. Bye.